Hey friends, it's great to be here. Looks like I have my work cut out for me. Not a lot of folks know about the OpenJS Foundation, so I am just uh, delighted to share a little bit more about our or new organization and really what led me to leave um, my uh, career at Microsoft and join the Linux Foundation. So, you know, if you're online today, you're probably using JavaScript. Do you know that more than 95% of the world's websites use JavaScript? Including many of the major app, web apps that we all know and love. Um, and there's also one of my new favorite customers who's a big user of JavaScript and Node.js, and that's NASA. Do you know that NASA uh, uses these technologies to build solutions for spacesuits? Um, and these IT solutions not only help keep astronauts safe, it helps them reach their dreams, much like uh, Jessica and Christina did last month. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so if you see now that like, JavaScript really is central to the web and the cloud, just as developers are to our world. But how do you take this technology and keep it trustworthy and keep it modern um, with an astronomical user base? I mean, it really is a kind of a humbling and awesome responsibility. Well, the answer is you, I mean, all of you in the open source community, plus our new home at the OpenJS Foundation. Um, and while we're new, uh, many of us have actually been around for a long time, um, from the JS Foundation, the Node Foundation, and many more. And we've able to, been able to take really the best of both worlds and adopt what really works. Um, and in fact, I do go way back with the Node Foundation in my early days at Microsoft. Um, we worked um, to co-found the organization with several leaders across the industry, um, because we knew then that by creating an independent, kind of a neutral foundation, we really could help increase the number of contributions to the Node project and really ensure the project's future success. Um, so for me, joining this organization has been really amazing because there's just, just the strength and the resilience of all of the people coming together and joining this new organization in such a positive and productive way has been really great to see. So today, the OpenJS Foundation hosts over 30 um, important projects, including Appium, Dojo, jQuery, Node.js, and, and Webpack. Um, we have, uh, really, our members really make it happen. They not only provide the financial support for our projects, um, but they really are active in our, government's, our governance process. Um, and now that we're an umbrella organization, um, we really wanted to create a goal, and that was to really create a, a model that gives a strong voice to our projects. Um, so we've designed it this way. We have a cross-project council, we call it the CPC, um, and they serve like a centralized role to um, provide technical governance and uh, provide moderation, onboarding new uh, projects, um, and, uh, and they're great folks. Uh, we also have our open... Uh, JS Foundation Board of Directors, and Todd Moore from IBM is our board president sitting right there. Hey, Todd. Um, they provide our vision and direction and are very active um, in supporting me and the organization. Um, and so what we really want is for our projects to really operate independently, but use the foundation to remove that friction so that open source projects can really grow and get better every day. Uh, we've also created policies that uh, give projects the confidence uh, that they're entering an ecosystem that is stable and open. Um, we have discussions as much as we can always in the open, and we really encourage decision makings at all levels. Um, and we know the JavaScript community is large, so we're always working and reaching out uh, beyond our members to bring in new projects. Um, and you'll find many of our leaders actually working in the standard setting bodies, for example, ECMA and the W3C. Um, we've had a really busy, cool month at the OpenJS Foundation, so I thought I'd share a few things that's happened since I joined. Um, we just welcomed two incubation projects to the organization. Um, Node Version Manager, you may know as NVM. It's a widely used method for installing Node.js um, and uh, managing multiple versions. They just joined as an incubation project. Um, and we just welcomed the AMP project, the OpenJS Foundation. Um, how many know AMP? There you go. Um, so AMP is a web component framework. It allows publishers to create websites where pages load very quickly. Um, it's actually used in 30 million domains and billions of web pages. 
um, really important open source projects, and it's implemented in products like Google, Microsoft Bing, uh, Pinterest, and Pantheon. Um, so we also come on, um, shipped another uh, program just last week that was in high demand from our community over the past couple of years, um, our Node Professional Certification Program. And we developed this program with NodeSource and Nearform because we thought it would be a really great way for you as developers to showcase your talents um, in the job market and for companies to find top talent. Um, now the program, the exam, is actually um, administered through a remote proctor, through screen sharing um, and streaming. And so it really allows you to become a Node certified developer from your home. Um, and given sort of the virtual nature of the test, we really wanted to make this accessible to anyone in the world, but we actually have found that we're going to have to work on some of our pricing models to make it more accessible to everyone in the world. So we really need your help to do that, and we'll be having more to share in the coming weeks. There we go. So I've been on a little bit of a listening tour. I've been on the job for a month. Um, and one theme I keep hearing is, you know, I'm like, what should we do? They're like, do more. Um, and so we've had a few priorities that are sort of rising to the top that I'm hearing. One, we need to grow our organization so we can do more cool things and reach more developers. We really rely on these communities. So we're looking at how uh, the OpenJS Foundation can, can help even more. Um, two, we really need to bring in more women and diverse communities into our foundation. Um, our doors are open. I really welcome anyone to join. Um, working on open governance is actually a lot of fun. It's very rewarding. Um, you, may, uh, you make a lot of great friends over the years. I know many are in the audience. And um, I think it's great to grow your career as well. Um, and finally, we have a lot more work to do to improve security and trust. So um, would love for you to join the OpenJS Foundation in any way you can. Um, we uh, are around this week. Todd's here, I'm here, and others. So we'd love to get to know you. Um, you're also welcome to join us in wintry, you know, beautiful Montreal, Canada in December, where they speak French, um, where our big flagship conference is going to be. Um, and you'll also find ways to reach us on Slack and GitHub on our collaboration page. So uh, thanks again for inviting me here. It's been total, uh, a great honor to represent the communities of OpenJS. Thank you. Thanks.